Hello everybody, this is number 9 of the series. We are finally starting to work down towards the edges of this monstrosity. So, I've just realised we don't need this block here anymore, because we know where our central point is now. So, if you want to head, we should have had these laid out already from the previous episode, episode 8. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these and we're going to start going upwards. Now these pillars are what we'll start with first, so what we'll do is we'll do two and the wall between and then all you got to do is just copy that all the way down to the end. So these pillars you want to go, literally just need to make these just solid cobblestone all the way right up. Now, they are four taller than the than these pillars here, which are the, the front pillars. So the, the shortest pillars that you've got, they're four taller. So you've got one taller there, two, three, four. Okay. And then you basically, from what we discussed before, that is the shape of the pillar. So basically everything within the four corners it, that I'm marking here needs to be up to this height. So four above these outer ones. And there you have it. So there's your two pillars right up there, four above the, those ones. And as you can see, all the way around solid. And they're exactly the same on all faces. So you've got the the kind of cut in all the way up, all the way down, etc, etc. So now this wall here on this side can just be filled in completely solid, just all the way up to the top of the pillar here. But um, I'll do that when I show you after this. So this wall is the important one between the two pillars. So gonna have a window then we're gonna have a bit of decoration then we're gonna have another window above so where the floor in here is gonna be raised off the ground we're gonna want some cobblestone just so that the window doesn't kind of cut into the floor so we've got a two block cobblestone cobblestone row there and then you want to get out some some glass now in my original cathedral we didn't have the panes so we just had the glass blocks but I'll do it out of that so that it's more accurate and now it needs to be five wide so leaving the the outside as kind of a thing now the actual window itself wants to be ten tall so we've got two three four five six seven eight nine ten now, because it is a church to cathedral type thing, we're just going to bring that into another point at the top. So it just slopes down 45 degrees all the way down. Well, not all the way down, but yeah. So there you go, there's your shape of the window. So then you just want to fill that in. There we go. So there's your bottom window there, as you can see. Now we are then going to put, you know like on the front we had all those nice fancy double stone slab lips. We're just going to carry on from that, put another lip, one above that. And then you want to make another wall that is seven blocks high. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that seventh block is going to be another one of these lips. Oh, where am I? Oh, I'm here. So get your double slabs again, or half slabs, and put them across there. So that will leave you a six block gap in the middle. Now get out some sandstone, and we're going to do something very similar to what we did on the front, with these kind of diamond shapes. 
except because the space we've got we've just stretched them slightly so the outside ones on the edge there are just two so that makes that sort of shape okay and then what you want to do is uh, figure out how I'm gonna do this and you should just count this one two four six seven how did I do this there's a window here basically and it's I believe it's three four five six seven yeah it was seven by seven so it meets up with the edge walls so it's a three then a one then a oh three then a one, then a three across the top. Like so, because we're going for a circular window at the top here. Something a bit different. Just fill the corners in, and then bring a row across the top there and then that should meet with the top of your wall like so so then just like the other windows we've done we're going to get out some lapis not those, some glowstone and then we're just going to put just like we did in the other one you can do it how you want remember I'm just going to put like a little O shape in here You might want to make it into something else, a C or an A or a... Depends what you want really. You might be a, a Connor or a Charles or a... I don't know. Anything. Anything that you want really. Or you might just want to make a pattern. You never know. Okay, so fill the rest in with glowstone. Bam. Just like we did on the rest. And there you go. you got that shape there. And then grab a torch, whack a couple of those around, and there you go. That's the main basics for your wall. So you're going to want to do that all the way to the end, and remember to fill in this end bit here. Bam! And when that's done, that should look like that. So you've got all identical all the way down the side here up to the seventh pillar there and then you've got these end panels here filled in up to the same level now what you can actually do is you can well we'll do that afterwards what we're gonna do next is we're gonna follow this trim on round these pillars so what I'll do is I'll go to the second pillar in here and just show you how we're gonna do this so at the same level you just want to come round on both sides like so and then you wanna we're gonna do it slightly different so we're just gonna bring it up into a point this time following on from obviously the thing that we've got for everything else of things being in points so it's gonna look like that it's gonna come up into a nice point up the top there alright and to keep it level just gonna plonk an extra one inside here just so you can see the same level here this front one then is in line at the back there alright so that's that and then exactly the same thing for this next one down as well like that so you've got a couple of bits of decor on there just breaks up those pillars a bit from being so s flat and boring so oh. bam I know she be okay uh, 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 light it up a bit and there you go that's the decoration for one of the pillars you want to do that on all of those and then I'll show you how to do the tops on these pillars because these are a bit bit awkward so we're going to want to put a 
a slab base round, one bigger than the actual pillar itself all the way round. As you can see that I'm doing here. Uh, have I come too far over? No, that's right. Okay, and then fill all that in. Now these pillar tops are a bit different from the ones we've got over here in the fact that we're going to use cobblestone. So we're going to start off by just taking the shape that we had of the actual pillar itself, which is, if you remember, the four squares. Well, I say that you should remember, you've just made 14 of them. If you, As you can see, I've done over there as well. And oh, it looks like it's raining, but I've got my rain turned off. So, and blue skies! Yeah, okay. So, then you're gonna. This is the kind of style that I did for the tops of these. So, we're just gonna keep that bottom layer as one. Oh, and then we're gonna go up in twos from there. So, you can see what I'm doing. I'm just working on the inner kind of three of each square there. And then build up the middle as well to make it solid and then we're just going to do a 3 by 3 square here of 2 and then we're going to do so well there you go so it lo looks like that basically you can see it's got these kind of little corner trims onto that so then we're going to go up by another 2 but just make the next one up even slightly smaller just by missing out the corners there and then the very top we're just going to go two individual blocks on the top there so that brings it up and well that appears to be my phone okay so there you go that brings it up into a nice point at the top there nice and smooth but also a bit kind of not boringly smooth it's quite nice okay so there you go really that's about it uh, you you just want to put all of these round just to follow the lines round and put the tops on all of these and when that is done it will look like this ta-da so there you go all the tops all the decorations now I'm just going to show you because I didn't show you before how I kind of finished off in the corner here I've put the trimming across the top there and I've just brought these round oh actually good job I went to show you that because uh, I haven't actually done that so here we go just where these trims come to an end I've just brought those around the corner there as well what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna follow that lip around which we did have on the side there so here you go you've got all of that decoration there and then when you come to the end I've just finished off the pillars here as if there was another wall because there will be more that comes around on the end of here so we can always touch that in later if there's more to go but I think that's about it because I think that there's a wall that comes out here so but we'll approach that later you just need to do that so far and then you should have like this so you can see how big this is getting already uh, identical on the other side let me just check that I've it's getting to the point where it's taken ages to even fly from one end to the other do 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 here we go so just put this lip across here got the top one got that one, I'll see the other way around this time yeah there we go so there's the bottom one as well there you go now what I'm gonna quickly do is just show you how amazing this looks at night time I've put quite a few torches around you see I've put quite a few on the tops of these and I've put quite a few round on the edges there so let me just go back and get a better view and then I can just turn it to night time Look at that. That's very nice actually. What I might do is set it to sunset. Because when you've got the red sky as it goes down, it looks very nice. Just as it starts getting dark. Let's go down to floor level. Now, I won't be recording another episode tonight because that took me all evening to build all that. I built all that 
all of that block by block. I didn't use any sort of single player commands or anything. That took forever. There you go, there's the old sun in the background. So yeah, that's what you should have at the end of this episode. A lot of progress made on this one. And then on the next one... Oh, I don't know, what should we do next? What should we do next? I might get the floor put in on this section and then maybe start coming round a bit further round towards the back. I think we should we should work on getting all the walls done and then we can get the ceiling on after that and then work on the inside afterwards. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.